three, two, one, go. And during the sandstorm, 3303 on the move. As the 1678 and 5104, all three blue robots make it past the line. 3303 trying to put a hatch panel on during the sandstorm, and they succeed preserving the cargo in the front of the blue cargo ship. Well done, Metallic Thunder. 1678 trying to put a hatch panel on, but 5274 for the Red Alliance playing aggressive defense. They're going to try to slow down the Citrus Circuits. In the meantime, up for the Red Alliance, 766, picking up a uh, hatch panel. Uh, but 5104 playing defense, and then 6981 trying to block the defense of 5104. And so 766 trying to place a hatch panel for the Red, and it is on there. Success by the Red Alliance. Blue is ahead, though, 30 points to 14. And that was 3303 Metallic Thunder successfully adding cargo to the blue cargo ship. Sixteen seventy-eight moving around the rocket. 5274 was playing defense, but the robot isn't moving much. And oh my, 1678, if you look at the hatch panel on the top level, it's only hanging on one side of the Velcro. I don't know if that's on there, secured on there well enough to hold the cargo into the top of the rocket. With less than a minute left in the match, uh, Blue is out to a commanding lead, 46 to 18. In 69-81, that's Clockwork Soldiers on the move. 5274 once again playing a lot of very, very uh, aggressive defense against 1678. We've got 20 seconds. We are into the end game now. Robots should go to their habitation zones and try to climb up on their platforms. 3303 safely on the level one platform for the Blue Alliance, 1678. Let's see if they're able to very quickly climb up on top. That'll score 12 points. And they did that with just seconds to spare. I'm not sure that's going to count. Part of the robot is still on the level one plat level. Punches to victory with 75 points and two ranking points over the Red Alliance's 26 points. Unfortunately, team 5274 uh, earn two yellow cards in that match, which adds up to a red.